I need you to give yourself a chance to win. First and foremost, you have to make a decision. Are you going to be a whiner or are you going to be a winner? Are you going to be a champion or are you going to be a champion? So I see you sitting there with your head down. Woe is me. Living in woe is me, Ville. I need you to own everything that you are right now. Stop blaming everybody else. The blame game is over. You have to make a decision right now. What are you going to do? Who are you going to be? And based on where you at right now, it's not going to happen overnight. Give yourself a chance to win. You know that recurring thought that keeps coming to your brain? That I should do this. I'm good at this. This is where I should be at. You have to act on it. You keep living this mundane life each and every day, the same old, same old, and expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity. If you want to go places that you never thought you could go, that is going to require you to do things that you've never done before. I always think back to the legendary NBA Hall of Famer Kevin Garnett in the interview. He was at the height of his game. He was balling out. But the interviewer asked him, what drives you? He said, I'm losing. And he just kept saying, I'm losing. And that forced him to do something that he wanted to do. He had to leave his comfort zone. The team he was playing for, Minnesota Timberwolves, he was comfortable there. But in order to go to another level, in order to win that championship, he had to go to the Boston Celtics. He had to accept that trade and team up with some other people who were at his level. And I need you to do the exact same thing right now. You're not hanging with winners. You're not hanging with champions. I was watching this video. There was a young lady. She was on the, on the phone. It was her birthday. And she was just twerking and twerking. And that wasn't even the bad part. The bad part is the person that was recording the video that was hyping her up. Just all this negativity just spewing into the universe. And she wondered why she was losing. You wonder why you're losing. Not only are you not making great decisions, but you hanging around other losers. You gotta change the company that you keep. You show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Right now your future looks bleak because everybody that you hanging with are losers. And they cheer you on to continue to lose. Instead of that young lady saying, no, 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 no. You, know, you don't wanna put that type of energy out to the world. She was a cheerleader of negative energy. You gotta have a cheerleader of positive energy. You gotta have a cheerleader, somebody that's pushing you, an accountability partner that's like, yo, did you get your steps in today? Yo, did you make those calls today? Yo, did you step out of your comfort zone today? I need you to give yourself a chance to win. And in order to do that, you have to do something. Do something. Once you start doing, you'll be amazed at how the universe, you'll be amazed at how God, you'll be amazed at how things seemingly start to fall into place. Not overnight though. Not overnight. In my business, it took me three years before the bright idea hit me, before the right thing to do hit me. You have to give yourself a chance for the right idea to pop into your brain. You also have to respect the brand of you. People are always watching. The universe is always watching. God is always watching. So everything that you're doing is pouring some type of energy into the world. And guess what? Whatever energy you put out is the same energy that's gonna come back to you. So if you wanna give yourself a chance to win, how about trying to put more positive energy into the world? How about trying to do more things on a daily basis that lead you to the winning lane? Do something right now that you haven't been doing. You have a great idea. You have a great story. You do something better than other people do. What is that thing? Figure it out and turn that into your life passion. Turn it into your work. And it's like you never work a day in your life. But you gotta do the work. You gotta sit down and write out your goals, write out your plan, and embrace the failures. They're going to come. They're going to happen. It's all a part of maturation. You don't just start something and automatically win. You have to do and do and do and do. And you have to be patient and embrace the setbacks and failures because they're gonna come. On your journey to next level success, they are going to come. The roadblocks are gonna come. The battles are gonna come. The naysayers are gonna come. 
but you have to shake them off. You have to brush them off and keep moving forward and let one day become two and let two become three and three turn into a week and a week turns into a month and a month turns into a year. And before you look up, you find yourself hoisting that gold medal. You find yourself holding up the big trophy. You find yourself achieving next level success. Only you can start your trek. Only you can start your journey. Only you can give yourself a chance to win. So pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Pick your head up. Don't quit. Don't give up. I don't care how old you are. If you start right now and you stay consistent, and you don't quit, and you don't look back, and you keep moving forward, and you surround yourself with positive energy, you, my friend, are officially putting yourself and giving yourself a chance to win. And that's all you can ask of you. It's you versus you. It's time for you to dominate yourself and give yourself a chance to arrive at your destination of next level. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Celebrate the small wins on your journey to next level greatness. This is a great day to win. Let's go.